Boom! Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name is Clint and I am excited because we're doing another one take bag review today. This time of uh, this. It's a sling from Rothko. It's an Amazon discount brand. You may have even seen this suggested to you on Amazon by the algorithms they use because you like bags and they know you like bags, but it's a $21 bag. So 20 bucks, does 20 bucks get you a usable bag? Well, let's get into this thing. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. That means one straight shot straight through. We're gonna do a walk through the bag, interior and exterior, all the nooks and crannies, every single pocket on this sucker. And at the end, I'm gonna give you two things that I like about the bag, two things that I think could be better, and then an overall recommendation. Who might this be the perfect bag for? All right, let's get started. Let's dig into this thing. So, exterior of this bag. This is a canvas, not waxed canvas, a canvas heritage looking bag. Um, it is a cool kind of, what would you call this? Is it a crescent shape? When you pull it around this way and hold it this way, it looks like um, kind of a, a wine skin or gunpowder skin bag. And it's a bag that has, from a form factor standpoint, this kind of crescent moon shape has really stood the test of time over the years because it wraps around your torso. Um, and so it's a very useful shape of bag. It isn't as popular because people want something that is a little boxier that would hold larger size tablets, you know, big giant phones, etc. So this is a size of sling that is a little more popular um, in big cities with public transportation. Uh, and I saw a lot of these when I was in Japan recently. So a lot of this kind of very small style crossbody bag. But let's talk about this thing because you might find that a small crossbody cross bag of this size is perfect for you. Uh, customers on Amazon certainly love this thing. It's got a 4.7 star rating. Sometimes you gotta take those ratings with a grain of salt, but that's what this review is for. Is it a good bag? Is it really a killer bag like the reviews would suggest for 21 bucks? All right, well, let's dive in. The exterior we talked about, it is a canvas looking bag. Um, it comes in four different colorways. This is kind of the, we'll call it coyote brown. Um, I think they just call it brown. Um, there's a really neat looking woodland camo kind of faded canvas. It's a cool look. Um, it's got leather zipper pulls. The zippers are uh, nothing fancy. I don't see any branding on the zippers at all, but leather zipper pulls, kind of a reddish dark, dark brown on those zipper pulls. They look good, they look good. They, I think they really set off the brown. The zippers are a slightly darker color than the rest of the bag, which gives it a little bit of contrast. The strap itself is pretty cushy and very customizable, expandable. Uh, in total, it says that it's gonna get you to 47 inches, which is a lot of inches. Um, it's almost four feet of strap. That seems excessive, but it's cool. Um, it'll fit just about anybody, I would say, with that much expandability. Not too much cushioning. You do have some attachment points that run all the way down the strap, but not too much cushioning. And man, that is a noisy, noisy buckle. But it's also a good looking buckle. So it doesn't feel cheap. The hardware on this bag doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it may actually be cheap, but it doesn't feel cheap. It does feel heavy and it does make a crap ton of noise. But let's put this thing on. I'm gonna show you kind of how this thing rides. Like that. Or you can take it off, put it on the other shoulder like this and wear it on your front. Yeah. Not too bad. And it does kind of wrap your torso, like I said. So a comfortable bag, even when it's fully packed out and loaded out with some pretty heavy stuff like I've got going on right now. All right. I think in order to show you the interior of this bag, we're gonna have to employ camera number two and we'll get into this thing and see all the pockets and kind of let you make a call on, is this bag something you want to have with you? Stuff in your other bags maybe? Uh, use it as a little day bag or a putzing around, going for a walk bag. 
let's get into it. Camera number two, everybody. All right, camera number two is live and we are cooking. So this is, again, the Rothko Vintage Crossbody in Canvas. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on this thing. Let's check them out. And sorry in advance for all this clanging noise. Good God. All right. So here's an issue. I wanted to show you this right now. These zippers zip, but never all the way. So because of this chunky hardware, all these zippers get mostly closed, but it always leaves just a little bit of exposed bag, no matter how tight you zip it down. So that is something we need to talk about is that this is not a waterproof bag and it's a little open to the elements unintentionally. So let's unzip this front pocket. You can see black nylon interior. I've tossed in some sunglasses and a little pocket knife. And then behind that, in this bag, excuse me, in this pocket, I've got a power brick, built-in cords and all that jazz, all I need. Okay, you can see this one has canvas backing because it's stitched onto the front of the bag. Your, your guess on how long that will last is as good as mine. Up here, I've got my AirPods in this pocket. Nice little pocket. And then up top, I've got an EDC wallet. And again, stitched onto the bag itself. Um, and you can see some, some issues. Hmm. Yeah, we've already, I mean, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, okay. This thing is uh, barely used, by the way. All right, so main compartment here. It zips up to, mostly, up to the stop point. Worth calling out that there's also a pass-through here. I think this is actually intentional. So I think this is for cords to run out. Um, like if you had a battery backup, you could run the cord out here. Um, to your phone. So that's an intentional gap right here, but an unintentional gap at the top of the zippers. Inside here, I've put a Kindle. And you can see inside here, we actually have some interesting stuff going on. You have a slip pocket right here, subdivided. And then right here, you have a zippered pocket. So you actually have a little bit of storage on the inside of this bag too. And a Rothko brand tag down at the bottom. But yeah, that's interesting. One, two pockets inside this pocket. A little bit of options there. And then on the back panel here, we have, I've tossed in a passport wallet, but a good huge space here. This is the easiest access pocket on the whole bag, this back pocket. I did want to show you one other thing just to answer a question that some of you may have. Look, it's an iPad mini. Does it fit? It fits with ease. Does it fit in this little pocket here? Nope, but it fits in the main compartment with ease. Does it fit in this back compartment? No, because this one does not go vertical here. I guess, there we go. If we center it, it fits. But honestly, not a lot of padding. This is your best bet for an iPad, but I would put it in a case too. Yeah, all right. I think that's it for uh, looking at the interior of this bag. So meet me back at camera number one. Okay, so we've seen the inside, we've seen the outside. It's an interesting bag. And it's only $21. So we have to look at it through the lens of as a cheap value bag, is it worth cheap value bag money? Because you can't stack something like this up against you know, $150 sling and ask which is better. You can ask, can I get away 
with spending 20 bucks and get a pretty decent sling? I think that's the question we should ask and answer here. So two things that I like about this bag. The first thing that I enjoy about this bag is the way that the bag feels when you're wearing it, which is a big plus for a sling bag, a big plus, okay? So this is actually a really comfortable bag. The strap itself feels nice. It's sufficiently padded. Yeah, like, yeah, love, no, but like. The crescent shape of this bag feels nice when you wear it, the whole thing, yeah, it works. The second thing I like about the bag is the look and feel of the bag. So when I say look and feel, I mean, they pull off the canvas look here pretty well. I think it's a nice looking bag. I think when you wear it, it's an attractive bag. I think most other cheap Amazon bags of the kind of polyester ni nylon variety, they look cheap. This doesn't necessarily look cheap. So I think they pulled that off. The zipper pulls look nice. The hardware looks nice. The look and feel is good on this bag. Let's talk though about things that uh, I don't like so much or could be better. Well, the first thing is quality. The zippers don't quite close tightly. I've already got a ton of string pops. I've got pieces falling off of the bag inside the pockets. Um, it's not incredibly well constructed. I mean, it's not the worst I've seen, but 4.7 stars out of five on Amazon? Mm, no, no, it shouldn't deserve that. Maybe four stars out of five, 3.9, but yeah, the quality is an issue. You should know that. And the second thing that could be better about this bag, although I like the look and feel of this bag, there's one thing that I hate. This, God, I hate this thing. Like, I, I know they wanted it to look heritage, the whole bag, but good God, this thing, like, it is so noisy and it's up against your chest and it doesn't sit quite flat, it feels, Bumpy, this this is no good, no bueno. Rothko, if you're watching, if you're listening, nice bag. Yeah, overall, nice bag. 20 bucks, great value. Uh, you, you could probably cut another dollar or two off by not doing this big metal buckle. Um, yeah, I think a Duraflex buckle actually, even though, like a brown Duraflex buckle that's the same color as these zipper poles, that would have worked and might have been cheaper and definitely would have been more comfortable and less freaking noisy. So, is the bag worth 20 bucks? Yes. But we're gonna get into a conversation here when I say who is this the perfect bag for that I think is you know at the core of some of the discussions on this channel. So, who might this be the perfect bag for? Well, if you don't have $150 to spend on a sling bag and you need a little bag, you could do a lot worse than this one, honestly. And I've been in that place many times in my life. And I've got a little um, Kawaii Knights bag, I, it, Hong Kong Knights bag, uh, I can't remember. It's, it's a crappy little Amazon bag that I bought for $15 that I you know, carried multiple times on trips and got a lot of use out of it and really enjoyed it. Held my battery back up, held my cords, held uh, my wallet and some sunglasses. Yeah. So ultimately, if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a bag, this is a pretty fun one. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. And although there are quality issues, I mean, it's a $20 bag. Of course there are quality issues. So, but, but, if you find yourself in that game of trying out four or five different low quality, cheap $20 to $30 slings, I got news for you. I think that you would be much better off buying a, like a $60 or $70 sling and getting your money's worth and not having any of these quality concerns or questions. Now, if you've got a little bit more money than this, than this $20, I would recommend the TomTok Compact EDC crossbody. That's a cheaper option that I really actually enjoy a lot, okay? And that's available on Amazon too, um, and it's in multiple colorways. It doesn't have the same look and feel. So who is this the perfect bag for? Somebody who's looking for a canvas crossbody and doesn't have a lot of money to spend? Yeah, 
you could do worse than this. You could do better than this, but you could do worse than this. So that's the review, everybody, of the Rothko Vintage Canvas Crossbody Bag from Amazon. $20 bag. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, everyone, thanks so much for the love and support. Really appreciate you. And of course, as always, we will see you next time. Bye for now, everyone.